Millipedes and centipedes look very much the same. And in fact, they're quite closely related. But there are some fundamental differences. If you look closely at them, you'll see what they are. In fact, one's a hunter, and it's permanently in top gear for speed. The other is a scavenger, and it's permanently in low gear for power. Let's look at the hunter first. In fact, the hunter is the centipede, and I'll put it in between these two glass dishes. They're, they're not very heavy, so it's not going to squash it, but it's just going to imprison it without moving, so I can turn it over and show you the bits and pieces that make it such a good hunter. That is, if I can stop it escaping in that little cliff. Hang on. There we go. Okay, now one of the things you have to have if you're a hunter is a means of catching and killing your prey. In fact, the centipede's got jaws. Here they are. They're actually the first pair of legs. They're the reddish ones with the black tips. They are now poison fangs, really, that it digs into the prey, paralyzes it, and then it can chew it up with the mouth in between. But you notice that the legs uh, are one per segment. The, the body's divided into segment. And they're on the sides. They're not awfully many of them. And uh, they're quite long. They're like the oars on a galleon. So they really lo row the beast along. And being long, they do it with a lot of speed. And the body is a bit snake-like when it moves, so that if you see it running over the ground, that snake-like motion and the long legs on the side give it a lot of speed. And of course, that's terrific for uh, hunting things down. He's trying to bite my forceps there because I've made him angry. Here he goes. Look at the speed. That's what you need if you're a hunter. Permanent top gear. Well, if you're not a hunter, you don't need to be so fast, unless you're trying to escape from a hunter. But millipedes have a sort of stinky secretion which protects them, and they are not hunters themselves, so they can afford to be slow. But what they do is to burrow through compost and decaying vegetation to chew it up, but the burrowing needs power. So their legs are underneath, and they're quite short, and they've got oodles of them. So lots and lots of legs, which are short and positioned in the middle, give them power. And that's, of course, what they need for their particular mode of life. So there they are. They're really quite close cousins in the animal world. But this one is slow, with very powerful movements. And that's in bottom gear. That's the millipede. The other one is fast, not so much power, but very quick for hunting. And that's the centipede.